Good morning, good morning, good morning. Or is it good afternoon? I don't know. Or maybe it's good evening. To all of my viewers, to all of my subbies, to all of my people that are on the fence, whether they don't know if they want to come to my channel and subscribe, or whether they just want to sit on the fence, peek through the bushes still, the undecided ones, you know those ones, and probably more so my haters out there, okay? My motivators, I like to call them, all right? Whoever you are, thank you for coming to the channel. Well, right now, you're trying to tell me, get to the point. Get to the point, Chanel. Get to the point, Gail Chanel, it's four days world, okay? Tell me what's going on in that outside celebrity news in them streets, okay? I'm going to tell you, Celebrity Insider brought out a story on none other than Eva Marcel. You know, the housewife. The housewife from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Isn't she stunning? Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she giving you everything you want in drama? Okay, and those are the other ladies that support her on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I tell you, they are spinning out of control, each and every one of them. All right, they giving me something to report on, something you can drop down at my uh, channel here and there, pick up and use, okay? If it ain't nothing but simple laughter and banter. It all is in good fun, good entertainment, and not to put anybody down. We're just giving what it is, what's out there. Right now, we're talking about Kevin McCall coming back in, swooping back in, telling Eva, I may be through with you, but I ain't through with my daughter. I had a lapse of judgment, and I ain't finna take or let another man come in and take what I created, I produce, you and I. You and I, we fit together like a hand on glow. That's right. I don't know if that was right, but it just came to my spirit. I had to build it out for y'all. Okay, that's a little Rick James. I don't know who he is. Okay, but anyway, yes, I knew it. I knew it was going to come back to be another salacious story. I didn't anticipate it coming back full circle so soon, but yes, Eva Marcel. Sterling and her ready-made family that she put together, she tried to X out Kevin McCall. Yes, she did. She tried to X him out. Uh, 86 on 513. Discard. Ready to replace. New family. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much what she went and tried to do. Or what I think she was successful in doing. Okay. I don't know who the judge was. You know, but in retrospect, I think the judge is probably shaking her or his head when she granted that uh, changeover for Miss Eva Marcel. Okay, because sooner or later, a good attorney was going to take it back in court and they're going to uh, appeal the situation and it might be turned back where the rights are given back to the biological father where he wants his daughter, his biological daughter, to remain having his name. Now, of course, when a child gets 18, she can do whatever she wants to. Yeah, she can emancipate from her, both her parents if she wants to, her biological parents, if she deemed that they are unfit for her to be uh, around them and them making decisions for her. It's called emancipation, all right? She can do it at 16 or maybe as early as 15 and a half. I'm not sure. Fact checkers get into it and check it out for me. Put it down in the comments and we can review it, all right? But yes, okay, but... It's almost like, um, yeah, when she turns 18 and she gets uh, tired of both of them, she may just turn her name into X, okay? She can do that because legally she can do it, okay? It's something that the law says we can do from time to time, just as long as we're not running from debtors or we doing any criminal acts, okay? But anyway, let's get on into the story, okay? So that's the insider, staff member Ricky Mathers. Uh, journalist, columnist over there breaking our own story on Kevin McCall's foolishness that he's doing out there. But okay, in hindsight, I'm sure he uh, thought about what he did out there and that it didn't really look good. And, you know, maybe he got some medical attention for anything that he's suffering from mentally. And he's on an even keel now. And he's trying to say what he did in social media was bogus. It was wrong and he shouldn't have did it. But there's no need for Eva, even though she says she's estranged from him, <coughs> she's allegedly running from domestic acts of him, and he has been cited and caught and brought back into charges and, and back into court for uh, allegedly uh, whooping on somebody else. So he has another case. So we're not going to say Eva Marcel was wrong in bringing that full circle to us, but you still can't take away 
<coughs> in my eyes, the child's biological father, because he's going to creep up there sooner or later in her life, and he may not pose a threat to her, and she may want to form a relationship with her biological dad. So, Eva, you know, like I said, file on play. I said it on my uh, old video. To go into the archives, you'll see uh, what I spoke about in my own opinion and how I view things that, you know, just because you have ended it or ended a relationship with your children's father uh, doesn't mean that the relationship has to end between that child and their parent. You see what I'm saying? It's called you holding grudges. You want to wipe the slate clean and you want to take anything that you love from that person and put it into your new life, which you was trying to do with when you married Mr. Sterling and uh, you felt y'all talked about y'all came up with an agreement to adopt baby girl Marley. Okay, when it, it was no necessary, it was no necessity to that because Kevin McCall is not dead. He's not six feet under. Okay, there's no need to have went as far as you did go. But that's your life. That's your family. Of course, do what you feel is necessary. But in the eyes of everybody else, we're gonna have opinions on the matter. And such as myself, I do have one. But let's get on into this story. Y'all know how I feel about it. After I finished reading the article, we, uh, uh, you know, take it all in. We digest it. And then if it just feels like it's just full of shit, we're going to throw it back up. We're going to regurgitate it. And we're going to move on to another subject, okay, which is another video. But since I got your attention here, let's get on into it. Like I said, um, a columnist, journalist over there, Celebrity Insider, Ricky Mathers, Mathers, or however you're pronouncing it, okay, she wrote a titled article as Kevin McCall's files for shared custody of his daughter with Eva Marcel. He wants child support uh, and Marlon's last name changed back. Now, of course, in my opinion, he's absurd. I don't think any uh, true attorney, well, you might have some shite attorneys out there, but I don't think any judge under the circumstances of knowing his past history going to grant him um custody, full custody of said child only because of his track record and his uh, mental stability. Okay, that's just where I see it. And I'm being looking at it as a parent and I'm looking at it as, a, as an advocate for a child and I'm looking at it versus the law. Okay, now he might have supervised visitation. Uh, he may be granted his full rights back as, you know, the guardian of the child. Well, not necessarily the guardian, but the biological father entity per se. Um, yeah, but trying to get sole custody, I don't think so. <laughs> Child support, uh, I don't think so. Okay, but hey, uh, things have surprised me out in this world how laws get changed and injustices are done and all this kind of stuff. But let's get on into the article real quickly. It says, news recently broke that Eva Marcel changed her daughter's name from Marley McCall to Marley Sterling on the basis that her current husband, Michael Sterling, is the only father she's ever known. Singer Kevin McCall is taking extreme action. I know that ego was going to come back. See, Everything that's done in the dog come to light. And if it ain't right, it's going to come back full circle and bite you in the behind. Like I said on my last video, Eva, move, how you call it, like a turtle, but finish the race smoothly. Okay? That's my thoughts and that's how I take my life. I start like a turtle, you know what I'm saying? But I continually go and go and go and I'm going to get through. It's like a marathon I'm running out in this life called what is race called life? You see what I'm saying? Everything is not given to the swift and fast, okay? You no, know, sometimes we can't move swift and professionally. Sometimes we have to move uh, slow at a steady pace, gain momentum, and finish strong, okay? Because the race ain't given to the swift all the time. It's, it, it's, it's given to the meek and the uh, perseverance type of person, okay? Uh, but moving back to this sensational, salacious story, okay, uh, not only does he want his daughter's namesake returned, but he is suing for shared custody, okay? If awarded, McCall also wants child support when she is in his care. <laughs> now, that's bullshit. Okay, I'm just going to call flag on play, throw everything out. We finna start a new game. Credits need to be re-rolled because... They need to be edited out because this this ego done lost his mind. Now I can see shared custody meaning you don't have to pay child support because y'all gonna split the child up 
uh, you're going to have it for six months and I'm going to have it for six months. And while she's in our custody, we're going to take care of that child. OK. And if, when the child's with the other parent, we ain't going to seek no retribution, no type of custody uh, for his financial gain. No, 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 no. OK, you take care of her six months and I'm going to take care of the other six months. And that's how we're going to do it until she gets out of college. And I think that's pretty much we're going to get with the 26. You know what I'm saying? We usually would stop at 24 if they went on right after high school. But we're going to just stop it at 24. 26, okay? And we might give her two more years just to uh, give her a good footing, okay? Because, you know, every time you get out of college, not necessarily meaning you're going to get a job ASAP because the economy is looking kind of bad out there and we're all trying to stay just above that water, okay? Heads above that water, all right? But anyway, going back to the article, it says the songwriter claims that he has been alienated from his daughter for years and on. And on end, since he suddenly left the state in 2015, both parents are scheduled to appear in court in November. OK, November of 2019 is what we're speaking of. OK, and then it says the law may not be on Kevin's side, given his erratic history. I spoke on that a few minutes ago. OK, Eva has been open about her abusive relationship with her ex, Kevin McCall. Allegedly, you know, because we ain't there, we ain't seen nothing, we, you know, we ain't privy to everything that's been thrown out there. So we are not going to agree on either party. We're just going to say, hmm, okay, until things are turned to us in black and white. But even a lie, a true lie can be seeming, be found as the truth sometimes. I'm speaking for experience, okay? I know what I'm talking about. A, a lie can be better than I if other people agree with it. Okay. Anyway, moving back to uh, the article, it said um, Eva had suffered physical and emotional abuse from Kevin McCall at you know his own hands. Okay, and I'm sure all that is court related. I'm sure we got uh, film footage of it or video footage of it, but we don't know. But I'm sure it's in a uh, law's or the lawyer's hands where they're gonna bring it out if they need to. If they have to go to court, and it'd be a nasty little battle going on. Okay, going back to the article, it says the subject even came up on the Real Housewives of Atlanta when she was questioned about where she was living. She explained that her ex was stalking everywhere she goes, which is why she moves so often. We all know we call that bullshit, okay, because she's on Dish Nation, she's on uh. Rick and Smile the Morning Show. Uh, she just had a um, baby shower, and I'm sure that was publicized for the people that wanted to attend and or become informants or snitchers out there to the reporters, the paparazzi, you know, these big news vlogs. They already know where she lives, and I'm pretty sure if they know Kevin McCall pretty well, he got the information too. So, you know, unless you're in a witness protection program, you ain't going to be out on no high profile platforms showcasing yourself. Uh, talking about what you're doing here, there, and the other, and you don't think Kevin McCall got people or he's listening to to these uh, news entertainment streets running out here on Evil. Come on, girl. Come on. But anyway, uh, we go back to the article. It says in April, it was reported that Kevin was arrested and charged with domestic battery for an incident that happened in January. Meanwhile, Eva has been living her best life starting on Real Housewives of Atlanta and being happily married to Michael Sterling while they while they patiently wait for their baby number two to arrive, okay? She explained on Ricky Smiley Morning Show, Marley was born in 2014, and I gave her my biological father's name. Well, I gave her her biological father's name, which is Kevin McCall. After two months, we became estranged, and I raised her as a single mom. The good Lord saw fit for me to meet an amazing man, Michael Sterling, who has become my husband and the father of my latter children. And so long uh, story short, we all have the same last name. And Marley was the only one who didn't. And she wanted to assume rights, both her and Michael. And they adopted or he adopted Marley as his own and gave her uh, to complete their happily family transition his last name, okay? What well, did I think that was fair? Hell, to the no-no, okay? But that's just my opinion. That's just how I look at things because people and uh, it's people and feelings can change from here to there. You know, sometimes we grow in maturity and we don't look at things like we once looked at them time past, okay, in hindsight. So I think evil was hurt. And hurt people hurt other people. And they do damaging things that they uh, tend to regret later on in life. But right now, she ain't foreseeing any of that. She's just living her best life, living living in the moment. And, you know, that's just how we do sometimes. Okay.
Uh, but anyway, going back to the article, it say I saw it necessary and might saw it necessary to change your name. So we've been going through the process, which I must say is not an easy process. It's not for the faint of heart, but we've been working through it. And yesterday, I can say that you, for the Honorable Judge Manning here in Fulton County Courthouse, she granted the name change. So yeah, we all know about that. And then we're going to ask the last uh, and final part of this article. She asked, uh, do you think Kevin should be awarded custody rights? Uh, I'm going to say yes and no. I think he should be given uh, the right to see his daughter if it's under the uh, arrangement of uh, supervised visitation, then yes, because Eva's daughter Marlon may not feel the same way Eva feel about her ex boyfriend, okay, which is her uh, baby daddy, okay. Uh, it's a relationship uh, totally different that you have with your ex that your child is gonna have with her father because she's not gonna see uh, her father in that light, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna have her own. Uh, relationship they're going to build and as she grows, she matures you know, you, you might get a slap in the face in a sense, Eva, she may truly like her father my daughter, I always do this to me what? oh, I'll call you back in a few minutes, I'm taping okay? Uh, I'm taping, hi okay, I'm sorry about that guys, Uh, where was I? Eva talking okay yeah about her situation so i think evil pretty uh really rushed the situation on trying to make her ready bit family and for marley to be driven drug in to the name sterling instead of her really thinking about a big picture i mean she could have said mccall slash sterling hyphenated it if she must uh, feel that way because kids don't know they really really don't know and they really don't pay attention until other kids get in the mix and then they be mean or whatnot to that fact but honey when your mama's on a reality star, star show and she goes by the name um uh, marcel hell she could have just named marlon marcel you know what i'm saying and left it all kosher but it just is what it is it's now time for you to get in them comments y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation do you really think evil rush to uh, in a sense, to change our child's name instead of giving Kevin McCall the benefit of the doubt that he could have turned out to be a better human being and parent as life went on. You know, we all know he was struggling in the mental department because he was making some outlandish uh, comments out there on Miss Evil that we all don't see Miss Evil as that type of person. But, you know, he was trying to paint an ugly picture of her. And we can only give you know, our critique on Eva of what we see from her and what she gives. Because it's always two sides to a story. And then you have the middle part where the truth remains. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video. I found it very interesting. I knew it was going to come back. Like I said, I didn't know it was going to come back in her face this soon. But, you know, she did ruffle some feathers and she went a little bit too fast with just thinking about the situation and the whole uh, audience of it all towards the bigger picture. Meaning... Who's going to really suffer from this? Meaning not her, not Kevin, but uh, little baby Marley. Okay, because she's put in a very big uh, situation. Of she's going to have to choose, in a sense, between her adopted dad and her real dad. And that's not fair. You, No one should have put that child in that situation because she's too young. And she's going to grow up in this whole mess of a situation when all things she wants is love from both parents. Meaning Eva's uh, husband. Uh, Michael, as well as her real biological father, Kevin. Okay, change is possible. Change is definitely possible for people that have been living in the era of their lives, but they got to recognize their flaws. They got to come in to their own truth of what they are and who they are and what they want to present now going forward. So, okay, get in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Okay, get in and, and interact and, and intertwine with other uh commenters and y'all yeah, have a, a good discussion let's have a great dialogue about this because it's not just happening to evil it's happening to other uh everyday walks of life of people and you know sometimes we do make a mistake and sometimes it's, it's good for that uh person to change their name but let's just make it where everybody has a say in it you know what i'm saying and it's Sometimes it's going to be fair. Sometimes it's not going to be fair. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay? But that's all I got for this video. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.